drive by and you just see somebody drunk or drinking on the side of the road, you form that opinion of them. But then, you know, once you open the book and you, you don't judge it by its cover, you know, you learn that there's stories behind all the different people and different circumstances got them to where they are. You know, hard times or a divorce, lost a job, and they don't want to be out here. They want the help and they want to get off the streets. A lot of people bought homes when prices were high and then the market fell out and they can't sell and they're underwater. They can't, their home is worth less than what they owe on it. It's created a great deal of economic stress among Floridians. We do see that families come to us, many for the first time, and our goal is to help teach them and show them a way how they can get through this crisis and get back on their feet. Uh, the foreclosure crisis has made a tremendous impact to all residents in Florida. Uh, every one of us, <laughs> me included, all our mortgages are way underwater, right? 50 to 60 percent reduction in the value of our homes. And so for many, they're, they're paying high mortgage rates and then when they lose their uh, ability to be employed, they have no way to make payments and foreclosure uh, is the next step that comes to them. So we're seeing that over and over again. And we're seeing first time families who never thought that they would ever find homelessness are finding it primarily due to the foreclosure crisis. When I got the eviction, it kind of set me into a tailspin because immediately, where, when you get an eviction notice, it's one of the worst things that can happen to you. It's almost like getting a, a lab result from a blood test that you don't want to get. It's horrible. It's horrible because ultimately you, you have to figure out within no time, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? How am I going to survive? Those are your top three questions. And I knew nothing. It's not something I ever expected to happen to me. This, this is way beyond my wildest imagination that this would happen. Um, but you know, you have to come to realize that sometimes in life, you don't ask for anything to happen, it just kind of happens. And, and your I'm life can change in an instant. Loss of job or pay decrease or things like that, they get evicted from their homes. Um, and then they will come knocking on our doors. But my main program would be the transitional living program, which is the um, apartments we have here for homeless families with children. More families are homeless now. A lot of them have lack of education and the employment it feels is so competitive now that they just don't stand a chance. The suburban counties that voted for Obama in 08 that were hardest hit by foreclosures voted Republican in 2010. So there's a great bit of interest in what these suburban counties where home foreclosure rates are still high, what are they gonna look like politically? Are they gonna go for Obama again, give them another shot, or are they gonna try something new? And it's a big question mark, because frankly, the economy could turn around a little bit, and of course that's what Obama's hoping for.